Hi, I'm Danny Brown with Myriad at My Home Group, and today we're gonna to talk about how to survive the Arizona heat while searching for homes. First tip for surviving the heat in Arizona while searching for homes is timing. You definitely wanna try and view properties first thing in the morning. That's when it's gonna be at its coolest. The temperatures are gonna to continue to rise throughout the day and the actual worst time to see homes is gonna be any time from three o'clock until the end of the day. Tip number two for surviving the Arizona heat while searching for homes is to bring plenty of water with you. It is incredibly hot and dry, so you wanna make sure that you have lots of water and stay hydrated while you're searching for homes. Something that my team does for all of our buyer clients is that we always bring cold water with us on all of our showings, and we'll also have some of your favorite snacks as well. We never want you to get dehydrated while you're viewing properties. Other things to keep in mind are sunscreen. You just wanna make sure that you don't get burned. It can happen really fast. Sunglasses, hat, uh, bring all those things with you while you're viewing homes. They will protect you uh, while you're viewing property. Tip number three to survive the Arizona summer while dealing with real estate is if you're selling your home, don't turn your thermostat off. Even if the home is vacant, uh, the Arizona heat can damage properties if the thermostat is turned off. It gets really hot inside, sometimes hotter inside than it is outside, and that can start to warp doors. I've seen paint start to melt, wallpaper start to peel off. Uh, not only that, but when people are out viewing properties, they want the inside of the home to be kind of a cool place, a refuge from outside, and you want them to spend time viewing your property. If it's super hot inside, they're gonna wanna get in and get out super quick, and they're not even gonna think twice about your property when it comes time for them uh, to make offers on things. And finally, tip number four is there are less buyers out looking for property. So it seems like all of Phoenix leaves town the months of July and August. So when you're out looking for property, this can give you actually a competitive advantage because there's less people searching for homes during that time. That means that you can be a little bit more aggressive in your offers, sometimes get better pricing, and just generally face less competition during this time. These are just some of the tips that I have for searching for homes in Phoenix during the summer months. I have a dedicated team of agents and we all work together for the benefit of our clients and it doesn't matter if it's raining, if it's hot, if it's cold, we'll show you property. Uh, if you wanna search for anything, go to our website, viewphoenixmetrohomes.com where we have every listing in Phoenix available for you guys to see.